I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series. I just finished up my 30th week of pregnancy. Wow, just 10 more weeks to go. I feel like the due date is like coming around the corner now. So how pregnancy has been affecting my work as an artist, definitely this week and the 30th week, I'm in the third trimester, I'm definitely feeling tired definitely feeling tired a lot more easily and feeling those physical limitations on my body now a lot. And I like to keep my painting practice as physical as possible. I like to be on my feet and standing while I work so that I'm able to move around a lot. I just think that's more comfortable and it just keeps me more engaged. And now that's definitely getting challenging as my stomach's getting really big and and I don't so much have the back pain and that like really nasty rib pain that I had before. I have those like ever so slightly, but it's not, it doesn't really cross my mind anymore, but it's just being on my feet for long periods of time. I get exhausted really, really easily. And it's funny cause I can still, this week I'd still, when I was painting or drawing, I would get into the flow of working and I would be on my feet for a couple hours and not register and feel great and then when i would take a break and sit down it's like whoa now i feel how tired my body is from being on my feet for all that time and it's just getting a little harder definitely to motivate myself to get back up to do another painting session once i'm sitting down and since now that i've been working from photo reference i can definitely lower my easel and the photo reference so I can be sitting if I want to as well. So I think I just need to break up my days where, because I like standing, to be standing for some parts of the day working, but then also lower it down so I can be sitting and working at the same time so it's easier on myself. But it's pretty amazing what the human body does to accommodate and grow a little human. I mean, part of the reason I think why I get so tired, even recording these, these videos, because um, I'm carrying my baby pretty high, so all of the organs get pushed up into my ribs and it compresses on my lungs. So I can't really take deep breaths anymore and just other things like that with how your body moves and changes that where I just get tired really easy. And so I definitely feel like now in the third trimester, I'm feeling how I did in my first trimester because I would feel really tired and get exhausted pretty easily as well. So at least from my experience, definitely the second trimester has been the best energy wise. And like I said in previous videos where I've been changing up my painting practice to make painting as enjoyable and as easy as possible. So I'll be able to hopefully easily get back into it after my maternity leave. A lot of that has been me experimenting and working from photo reference. And so this drawing, which I showed before, was the first drawing I made from a photo reference. And so this week I've been working on the painting study of that. And I'm still working on this painting. It's a work in progress, not finished yet. And it's been a lot of how it was with the, doing that first drawing too. It's been a lot of experimenting and repainting areas to figure out what I need to do to be painting from a photo reference instead of life and still get that same style that I like because it is so different painting from a photo reference compared to painting from life. And I've decided I'm going to be making another big change to my painting practice as well. So for painting before, when I went to my atelier where I studied like the classical techniques of painting, I was taught to use a limited palette. So the paint colors that I used was white, black, red, yellow, and blue. And so you just have your primary colors with white and black and you can make a lot of really great colors with that. And I really liked learning from a limited palette because I could really figure out how far I could really push those colors to get them to do what I wanted to do. But now while I've been working on that painting, that new painting study, I'm now starting to feel like that limited palette is limiting me and I'm gonna start exploring putting different colors on my palette, so violets, oranges, and greens. And that may sound silly to some people because those are still very basic colors, but the way I was taught in my atelier is that would just be, those are like crazy colors because you could do everything that you wanna do from primary colors. But I think it's been, 
I mean, getting the positive side out of this pandemic, I've been making a lot of changes. And then also with my baby coming, I've been making a lot of changes for my painting practice. I'm finding change to feel more, more comfortable. And it's been easier for me to really take a step back from my painting practice and analyze the different rules that I thought I needed or wanted to follow and be okay with like disagreeing with them and making up my own rules or disregarding some of them. And also that I can make painting as fun and enjoyable as possible. So I'm excited to do this and to work out these more new, <laughs> new additions to my painting practice. And I'm gonna be trying to get some more paintings under my belt before my baby comes. So then after my maternity leave, when I wanna be getting back into painting, hopefully I'll have those more major bugs fixed out so it'll be as a smooth transition as possible.